Kasih dekat mikrofonnya. Good morning to all of you. Before we start our morning worship, let's invite the Holy Spirit to come to our hearts by silent prayer. Opening song, let's sing together Tuhan Batu Karang Kita. One, two, start. Tuhan Batu Karang Kita, pelindung dalam bahaya. Meski apapun menimpa, pelindung dalam bahaya. Tuhanku Batu Karang itu pemimpin. Yang maha kuasa pelindung pada jalanku, pelindung dalam bahaya. Opening prayer will be led by Tracy. Let to start our family at care. Please bless and this with us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Let's prepare our heart and mind to hear the sermon by Ecclesia Rimporok. Ecclesia, are you there? Hi Ecclesia, Ecclesia supposedly is not here, Ketua Kelas supposedly it's better Stephanie, Stephanie is here now. Okay, Steph uh, Andrea Ganti. Good morning. Uh, my sermon today is taken from Prophet 30, verse 5. That is from uh, July 30, verse. But because we are, we had a day off yesterday, I will sermon it. Uh, Prophet 30, verse 5. Every word of God is pure. Oh, Ecclesi. Uh, I'm sorry, that is not my first, but it's now is Ecclesia 2, verse 30. Let's see. Ecclesiastes 2, verse 13. 13. Then I saw that wisdom excels fully as light excels darkness. So, uh, we are the light of the world. And you must give them a wisdom so they can be alive too, like like us, because we are God's disciples. So keep on keep on doing that, and God bless you all. Thank you. Closing song. Let's sing together. Rejoice in the Lord. One to start. 
Rejoice in the Lord always, and again I say rejoice. Rejoice in the Lord always, and again I say rejoice. Rejoice, rejoice, and again I say rejoice. Rejoice, rejoice, and again I say rejoice. Closing prayer will be led by Johannes Tumbelaka. Is Johannes here? No, ma'am. Okay, why don't you? Okay, ma'am. Ma'am, salam joyang pimpin doa. Yeah, it's up to you. You choose the best for you. Okay, oh, okay ma'am. Pray to enter class, Teresia Harinda. Teresia, pray to enter class. Boleh, boleh. Ketua kelas berdoa aja. Yes. Let's pray. Our Father in heaven, thank you for blessing to us. So we can finish our study online class. Please in Jesus name we pray amen yes let's pray our Father in heaven thank you for blessing to us so we can finish our study online class please us in Jesus name we pray amen yes Hey, something wrong? 
with this. Hello. Hello. Suppose there is something wrong in my. Can you <laughs> yes, I can hear, ma'am. Okay, can you see my screen? There is something wrong with this. What do you see now in my screen? Hello. Warning watch, ma'am. Oh, warning watch. Okay. So this is the morning watch for today. Before ketua kelas uh, and secretary, pay attention to the your friend that they are going to enter this room. Why don't you admit them if they rename their name? Yeah, rename. So from 8 Bravo, 8B, slash, uh, not slash, <laughs> hyphen, and their name. Okay. For this August, the morning watch for August 3rd. August 3rd, it's about uh chapter two from the book of ecclesiastes ecclesiastes the book of ecclesiastes has written of solomon right the king solomon has written of this book most he he writes or he wrote about the wisdom and uh, opposite of wisdom. And for today, the theme is about pleasure, labor, and wisdom. Pleasure, labor, and wisdom. Study first found in Ecclesiastes 2, verse 13. Actually, Andrea Stefani and who will over the sermon or the division now, why don't you take from our morning watch? So it's including in our morning worship. Okay, the statement. Okay, let me hear some to read Ecclesiastes 2.13. Better in English, yeah. English first. Who has the Bible? Why don't you open your Bible? Ecclesiastes 2, verse 13. Ecclesiastes chapter 2, verse 13. Go. Not waiting too long. Who has found? Just go for it. Ecclesiastes 2, 13. Just open your microphone and go for it. Hello, anybody can read? Good morning. Introduce yourself, please. Good morning, my name is Andrea Stefani. I am great at blessings. I will read Ecclesiastes 2, verse 13, New King James Version. Then I saw that wisdom excels fully, as light excels darkness. Okay, 
Mengkotbah dua ayat. Mengkotbah dua ayat tiga belas. Dan aku melihat bahwa hikmat melebihi keberohan seperti tera meng- melebihi kegelapan. Thank you. Oke. Okay. The statement here, thank you ya. Solomon tries pleasing himself in any way he likes without caring what it does to others. Then he tries labor, but still for his own glorification. You will note, he decides wisdom is much better than folly, but even that will end in death. As you read and study this chapter, especially what he wrote in verse 13 what counsel if if you want to give him counsel what counsel would you give if you could talk to solomon uh, just imagine that we face solomon now Not, not Andrea Solomon, ya. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, supposedly we face Solomon now. King Solomon, I mean. What counsel would you give if you, if you could talk with him? Dari apa yang diperbuat oleh Raja Salomo, yang dalam ayat 13, Jelas mengatakan bahwa dia mulai mencoba menyenangkan dirinya sendiri dengan caranya, dengan cara yang dia suka. Tinggal 9 menit lagi kita harus bisa. Tanpa, tanpa mempedulikan apa yang dia perbuat kepada orang lain. Oke, okay. dia mulai mempekerjakan banyak orang. Ingat, dia juga uh, si anaknya mencari istri. Ingat, how many wives did he have? Anybody can answer? While the Bible counsel us, the, uh, counsel us that only one, actually, the true one, kalau menurut pernyataan Alkitab bahwa istri harus cuma satu. Salah satu yang dibuat oleh Raja Salomo, wow. Itu hal yang memalukan dan tidak benar di hadapan Tuhan. Dia punya perempuan yang dia tampung di istananya. Ada seribu. Tiga ratus yang dijadikan istri. Three hundred. Imagine. Three hundred. Three hundred and... The 700 is gundik. What do you call gundik in English? That's a fully action. Itu satu hal yang bodoh di hadapan Tuhan. Sometimes, banyak kali kita merasa bahwa hal yang kita lakukan itu adalah baik. Di pandangan kita pribadi. Tapi belum tentu pandangan orang lain itu baik. Remember. Ingat. Semua yang benar pasti baik. 
dan bukan semua yang baik belum tentu. Jadi bukan semua yang baik yang baik belum tentu benar. But all the truth semua yang benar for sure it's good. Alkitab ini diilhamkan oleh Tuhan dan benar. Walaupun Alkitab ini menuliskan apa yang dibuat oleh Salomo, tapi dengan jelas Alkitab mengatakan bahwa apa yang diperbuatnya hal yang bodoh di hadapan Tuhan dan tidak benar. Okay, hopefully, if you want to counsel someone, make sure that your counsel, your counseling based on the words of God found in Bible. Pastikan apabila kamu memberikan nasihat kepada seseorang, itu hanya berasal dari Alkitab. Sola Scriptura, Bible only, firman Tuhan, hanya firman Tuhan yang dapat menasihati semua orang yang ada di dunia ini. Hanya firman Tuhan. Kalau ilmu pengetahuan yang kita pelajari, seringkali, sometimes the science, it's... Uh, Out of context from the Bible. Be careful. Study the science and the knowledge of the world. The knowledge of the world. Many times, it's not based on the Bible. But if we choose to... Uh, Walk with God. For sure, you are in the right way. Gampang untuk kita mengidentifikasi apakah saya mengatakan hal yang benar. Apakah saya berjalan dalam jalan yang benar. Just consult to the Bible. The Bible is the source of knowledge in this world. Alkitab adalah sumber dari se sumber segala pengetahuan. Alkitab tidak salah. Tidak pernah salah. Kalaupun ada sejarah yang mencatat pelanggaran-pelanggaran dari bapak-bapak kita sebelumnya, orang tua kita sebelumnya, namun di counter Tuhan katakan itu salah di hadapan Tuhan. Jangan kamu berharap, oh asikan eh Salomo dicatat dalam Alkitab, dia punya istri lebih dari satu, bahkan seribu, tiga ratus istri, tujuh ratus gundik. No, akhirnya Salomo berucap. Itu semua kesia-siaan. What's the meaning sia-sia? Useless. Nothing. Kalau di hadapan Tuhan, dan apabila kita melakukan kehendak dari Tuhan, apabila kita hanya menggunakan Alkitab sebagai dasar pengetahuan kita, maka, Jalanmu akan diberkati Tuhan. Dan bahwa kalau engkau berjalan terus dengan Tuhan, Tuhan akan menampakkan, akan memberitahukan kepadamu hal-hal yang benar yang harus kita turuti. God bless you all to do the truth. God bless you to do the right way. In the Lord of Jesus Christ.
I pray, amen. Okay. Secretaries, <clears throat> how many attendants that already attending our morning worship for today? Uh, there is 20 participants. Okay. There are? 20 disciples. Okay. Why don't you starting your... Uh, Sentence with they are. Try, Stephanie. How many attendants that attending this morning worship? Uh, it's there, there are, are they, there are twenty. Twenty. Okay. Are twenty students. Then, uh, the students who didn't attending, why don't you ask them to attend the next class? For the next class, you are going to go to. Oh no! Uh, you wait nine thirty nine twenty, yeah. 9.20 to go to class of uh, PE, Physical Education, Pendidikan Jasmani Olahraga dan Kesehatan, ya. After PJOK, after Physical Education, you go to computer, right? Okay. Don't forget, Shalomita, to remind them or ask the teacher, especially Mr. Hermanto and Mr. Fernando Mamesa, to ask the link that you are going to enter for study uh, physical education and computer. Okay, thank you. For attending the Family Educare today. God bless you all. God bless you too, ma'am. Okay, I would like to end this meeting. Go and enter PJOK now.